Hey, what's going on, guys? This is EJ Uno coming back again, guys, with another great video. This one will be about the Transformer Walmart exclusive Transformer figurines. Right here, we got Starscream, the retro Starscream from um, um, the movie, Transformer the movie, and it's the retro kind. So we're going to be doing an unboxing and review on this one right here, and we're going to be doing the red the exclusive Walmart figurines that aren't changeable, but they are still high detail and like they, they're they great. You know what I'm saying? So this is a red series and this is the retro transformer series and we're going to get right into it, guys. So but before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button and enjoy this intro and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so right here, we are back right now, guys, back. Why are we back? Because we want to check out these two figurines, these two right here. So anyway, guys, which one should we go with first? Should, should we go with um, Shockwave or should we go with Starscream? Starscream or Shockwave, which one? I think we're going to save this one for last because it's. I, I believe it's going to be the best one. Not to say this one isn't going to be the best one, but... It's not going to be as better than that one. Anyway, guys, so this is, I don't know if uh, you guys, if you are a Transformer fan, you guys know what this is. This is the red edition from the Transformer series. Like I said, this isn't changeable, but they are basically, a, I, I would say, you know how Super 7 has the Ultimate series? These aren't too different from <laughs> what Super 7 does. It's basically just uh, like a 7-inch scale or um, a bigger scale, if so, of a Transformer. And um, they pretty much have high detail on them, and it's pretty cool. They come with a lot of the stuff that you will see the ultimate wave of Super 7 having. But before we do get into the box, let's look at the box. So this is the Red Series. And what does Red mean? Robot enhanced design and uh like i said this is a walmart exclusive this is shockwave and it had a other some other carriers but i really was just into getting shockwave look at the art that goes that follows from the front to the side of it of shockwave and his gun looking really cool i like the window ser uh, scene right there i love i love the plastic for when it comes to windows um i don't like to be able to like People, I want people like touching it. I think Hasbro should do that with all their figurines. Leave the plastic on because nobody likes for their toys to be touched. Um, so the plastic protects it a lot more. Now, this is the stuff that it comes with. Some of the old Red Series used to have like a windowsill on the side where you can see what it came with. and uh, But this is still good too. It comes with some type of blaster effect. He comes with three alternate hands and he has a, a gun well that's supposed to be um if anybody knows megatron and then that's supposed to be like a uh, uh i think that goes on his hand too i think that does but that's megatron as a gun and um in the cartoon shockwave is always um having megatron as a gun shooting um, so uh, we turn to the back and then we have the transformer shockwave and then we have him posing in that scene right there we have him holding Megatron with one. We have him with his interchangeable hands. And then you get a, a front view of him and you get a close view at his head and you get the blaster effect right there. And um, at the bottom, here is the UPC if anybody is interested. And um, you can check him and try to um, see if he's at your local Walmart or online. So uh, let's um, unbox this. So here we go. Okay, guys, so in here, it really wasn't too much to, like, to, like, uh, take out of here. But uh, this looking at this figurine, I never actually took out one of these red um, figurines. But this one looks pretty cool. Um, he looks like he's very poseable. Let me see if I can move his hand. Yes, I can. 
So that's pretty cool. So you can move his hands. Uh, like I said, these are interchangeable hands right here. And uh, he does, you see his backpack right here. And I don't know if that's able to come off. I think it is. Yep, it is able to come off. Okay, so you can take his backpack off of him. And that's pretty cool right there. Now, where do they hide the weapons? I'm trying to see. So, okay, so let's, uh, okay. So, another, so, okay, so, um, the weapons are going to be in this plastic bag right here. So we're going to unwrap this and uh, see the weapons he got. Okay, that's kind of ghetto, but anyway. <laughs> um, you get your little pamphlet right here that it comes with, and you got all these like rolled up pieces. I mean, cause you know, God forbid they put it in there nicely. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, like I said, you get Megatron's gun right here. Uh, you get two blast effects right here. You get a uh, add-on um, blaster hand, and you get three alternate hands right here, which is really cool. So that's what he comes with. And um, you know, those are just interchangeable right here. And um, he, you know, he, you can move his head right here. You can move his arm, um, his arms right there. And um, those move, I'm not gonna take him totally out. But uh, yeah, and he's, you can bend his legs or whatever. So. Definitely letting you know um, how he is and the changeable and you can bend him here and there. So anyway, guys, there is my unboxing and review on Shockwave. Now let's get to him. Okay, guys, so here we are with the Transformers, the movie retro store screen. Now, I remember seeing this on the Walmart uh, website. Uh, I think it got sold out. But I was in Walmart and I was able to find... This one, I really wasn't looking for him, but I was looking for the Pizza and Throwing Ninja Turtles that are exclusive from Walmart. Can't wait to get my hands on them. But I was able to come across him, which was really cool. And um, just look at this box. It's um, very, um, I want to say retro looking, but it it has like a reissue. It has some type of retro look to it that looks that is nice. So um, the box is amazing. I mean, you get store screen in robot mode, then you get him in airplane mode right there, which is really cool. And then on top of here, you can uh, it shows you how to transform him, and that's how the original box used to have from airplane mode to like the four steps it took him to get to the robot mode. So that's really cool that they have that up top. Uh, you got a uh, uh, Decepticon Air Commander store screen right there. And the art just looks fantastic. It really does. Um, being a box collector, I love how when boxes have that much onto them. To the side of it, you get another pose of him in airplane mode and, and um, robot mode. And um, on the side right there, you get some things that say plastic free packaging and um, in different languages, it has the same. Uh, on the back of it, you get a short paragraph of, of um, store screen right there and you get another um, picture of him in robotic and airplane mode and this is i, I really love this because in the retro on the retro ones this is what they always used to have um uh you had another paragraph about him what he does and then you had his um strengths right there so it's really cool and then uh, old school cut out the plastic of the of the that right there of the decepticon and, uh, and um and Autobots, so that's really cool because those used to be like collectibles to send them in and get the different things. Um, then you get the UPC if anybody's interested in this. So that's pretty cool right there if, if you're looking for this. So, um, yeah. So, guys, we're about to open up this box and see what it has inside. So here we go. Okay, one thing I want to say is I was really scared because this box was already cut. And I was like, what the heck? So anyway, I was kind of scared. I was like, man, maybe it's not in here. Because you never know when you get things from Walmart and they're closed up in boxes. So you never know. Anyway, so I was lucky enough to actually get the right product. So you get a pamphlet right here. And then you get um, the, the transformer manual to transform them in and out of robotic mode. And then you get an old school... Um, store screen now my brother would freak out because when i tell you you can't see what i'm feeling right now but it is plastic right here and that's how they used to be in the past that that's awesome that's how i used to feel all the time and in the metal oh my gosh 
that was that was how when I feel this, this is exactly how they used to feel. It was this this is metal, this is plastic, this is really, really cool. Um, just looking at him, it's just it's one of those things that you just don't want to mess up. And I really don't want to mess it up. I really don't because this is this is really cool. I really like like how this thing feels. It's really awesome. Um and uh yeah, so th this is really cool. And I guess he you his arms and everything is inside of here. So guys, you know what? I'm curious. I want to see. Hold on, let me see what's in here. Okay, guys. After snugging away at this cocaine bag. <laughs> um, so basically, this is I don't I don't understand why Hasbro has start to do this stuff. Like, stop putting, stop doing that. That is so irritating. Anyway, so you do get Star Scream's wings in here. You do get he does have a a, a a Megatron gun right here that he that he can fit on fit on him. Uh, he does have four bazookas or blasters. He has some more attachable wings. He has um, a roller for his what you call it, um, his plane. He has two alternate hands, and this is and I do remember the hands that these come with. And then uh oh, then the, the detachable gun that attached to that. So okay, that's cool. Now what I'm looking for is his hands. Now he's supposed to have some hands and I want to say maybe they took the hands off maybe that's what happened so uh, so let me see so the bazookas are supposed to go in there let me see guys if maybe that's what happened maybe they took the hands off of there maybe that's what it is huh let me see Okay, guys, so I see what happened. I thought somebody got me for this and they messed it up. Okay, I forgot. So these are his hands behind. These are his arms behind here and they swivel to the front. And I forgot about that. Ooh, it's been a long time. I thought somebody really messed this thing up. I'm like, man, for real? And then you attach his hands to here. Okay, so that's pretty cool, though. All right, so I remember that. Ooh, not pretty cool, but I'm, I'm, I mean, it is cool, but I'm glad that it wasn't messed up. So anyway, guys, I do remember that happening. So anyway, I had to look through the instructions. But anyway, guys, definitely just wanted to talk about this awesome review of Star Scream, the retro quarterback, whatever you want to call it. Walmart exclusive for both of these guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more. I'm out.